What is it that people fear the most? As a doctor and neurosurgeon, I have discussed this many times with my patients. Surprisingly, the fear of death is far down the list. What people fear most is being disabled. Disability due to diseases such as cancer, heart disease, stroke, or Alzheimer's disease consumes our fears mostly because it means a loss of control. Will I be able to work, take care of my family, or will someone have to take care of me are the most feared questions we think about as we age. Fear of aging, disabling diseases, and the loss of control are also my fears. They are also some of the main reasons I wrote the book, The Longevity Factor, how resveratrol and red wine activate genes for a longer and healthier life. During the last 25 years of treating these diseases, I have continued to seek out alternatives for addressing these fears. I have recently learned of new discoveries and research from such prestigious institutions as Harvard Medical School and MIT showing that aging, disease, and disability may not be irreparably linked. That is not to say that as we age, developing the diseases of aging may not have to be inevitable. In my book, I discuss my own frustration with our so-called healthcare system, which really, in fact, is a sick care system, and how both my patients and my own family members have suffered from many diseases that perhaps could have been prevented. In our society, we spend trillions of dollars only when we become sick and precious little on the prevention of disease. This frustration led me to investigate and discover fascinating new ways we can prevent disease and perhaps even allow us to live not only longer but healthier and begin to avoid the disabling diseases that too often rob people of their so-called golden years. What I reveal in my book is that our genes, the blueprint of life located in every cell in our body, holds both the power to cause human disease, disability, and aging, and the promise of better health and increased longevity all at the same time. The secret to discover is how we choose to activate our genes. What researchers have learned is that our genes do not completely control our destiny. 70% is determined by our own actions and choices, such as overeating, a sedentary lifestyle, exposure to environmental pollutants, dietary choices, control of stress. These are the dominant determinants as to whether and when we develop diseases or not. Thus, we do indeed have a great degree of control over our own longevity. In the longevity factor, I show how the discovery of once thought dormant genes, so-called survival or longevity genes, when activated, can protect all species tested so far from developing diseases of aging and ultimately to live longer. These survival genes we now know are what allowed animals and our ancestors to survive times of drought, starvation, and stress from their environment. Since most of us choose not to live in desert-like conditions or exist in a near starvation state, what else can activate these same genes for improved health and longevity? Perhaps the biggest surprise you will learn when you read The Longevity Factor is that the way to activate our genes the blueprints to both life and better health may be as simple as eating the proper foods or supplements that contain specialized molecules discovered to activate these survival genes without requiring the stresses suffered by our ancestors. Based on research confirmed at major universities around the world, you will learn about molecules found in certain plants called polyphenols. These molecules are what gives the red to a raspberry 
and the purple to grape skins. But they also have an ability to directly activate genes in animals when consumed. Resveratrol, a polyphenol, found concentrated in the skins of dark colored grapes and red wine, has been found to be the most powerful activator of these specialized genes. In my book, I review all the latest discoveries made so far with resveratrol, red wine, dark chocolate, green tea, and other powerful polyphenol sources, and how researchers are now using these molecules in concentrate form to treat diseases of aging, including cancer, heart disease, stroke, and neurodegenerative diseases of the brain, such as Alzheimer's. I also discuss foods, dietary supplements, and a diet plan of recipes that have life-giving polyphenols and which sources may be best for you. Finally, I review a plan for living that is based not only on sound principles, but also on my own life. The idea of balancing your physical, emotional, family, and work lives in a way that can lead to a more productive and healthier lifestyle is an obtainable goal, and one which I believe is the key to both happiness and a longer life. In summary, the longevity factor is for those who don't believe that aging and disease go hand in hand. It is for those frustrated, like me, that we're always told to accept that we must develop some horrible disease as we age because of our genes. This book will give you the tools to fight back and learn that through science and genes that have existed in us for millions of years, we now have real choices as to what our future holds. I personally choose a healthy and longer life. Shouldn't you?